A warm welcome to Andrada Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about Saturn, the planet which is most feared. But today we are going to talk something good about Saturn. But before we begin, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your suggestions and your comments there. If you haven't subscribed to us, please do and do write your comments. Do let us know how you found this video. Not only that, please do press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. When we talk about Saturn, we are always very apprehensive because we realize that Saturn is a planet that may not give us a lot. But as I found out that Saturn is a planet which has the capability of giving us lots, all it expects from us is that we be very regular and be hardworking. As per Bhavarth Ratnakar, Yog Tarangi Adhyay, it is mentioned in two different shlokas. The first shloka goes is that if Saturn aspects the third house or the ninth house, then Saturn gives very good results. In this, uh, the same book, Bhavarth Ratnakar, there is another shloka which goes by the dictum that if Saturn is sitting in the third house and the ninth house, Saturn gives exceptionally good results. It forms a yoga. Now, when we talk about the third house, what happens is when Saturn is placed in the lagna, it will aspect your third house also. And as such, it will give you great results. How does, why does it give you great results? When Saturn is placed in the third house, in the Lagna, it is also aspecting your 10th house and your third house. It gives you an ability to work really hard and be very strong in your, in your work. In, it gives you an ability to be very direct in your work and live up to whatever you promise. I have charts, I've seen charts that when Saturn is placed in the Lagna, then these people, whatever they say, they deliver. They live up to their work, their word. And if they don't, then they should or they have to, to make sure that the Saturn is running good. Also remember that when Saturn when we talk about doing something, creating something, which the third house is all about, then just creating it and leaving it will not make much of a difference at all. What you need to do is have a sustained effort in that area of work. And when you work on that part for a long period of time with patience and persistence, which again are the karaka of Saturn, then you will see results. You will see changes in life. And how does that connect with the third house? The third house is the house where you can bring in change with things that you do. Third house is typically the house of change. And I have said that many a times and have made videos on it also. Apart from that, the third house is the sixth house from the tenth house saying that this is the obstacle that one might face in their karma or one. Uh, this is also the house where one needs to cross over to be very good in their karma. So with persistent effort of that Saturn that is working on that third house, one will be able to cross over the obstacles, go over the obstacles and then emerge victorious and then your path of career would be very smooth. So these people can have a long fight because Saturn moves shene shene or slowly, slowly. So these people may have a long haul of traveling or fighting out certain things in life. But once a part of their karma is unlocked, then it's a high rise for them. So that Saturn, when either sitting in the third house or aspecting the third house, it gives us patience and perseverance to be persistently working in a particular direction to be able to overcome the karma and to reach a high place in life. Also, these people will deliver, as I said, as they speak. Now, when we look into the ninth, the second dictum or the second half of the two dictums, that is when Saturn aspects the ninth house or is placed in the ninth house, it forms a yoga. 
Now, when Saturn is aspecting the ninth house from the seventh house, in the seventh house it is Digbali, as is the case in the chart of Lord Krishna. You will see that in the case of Lord Krishna, we see that Saturn is placed in the seventh house and it is in the sign of Scorpio. I got this chart from a very elderly astrologer who is known for his accuracies. Now, when we see that this Saturn is also aspecting the ninth house, the ninth house is the house of dharm or doing the right thing at the right time. And Saturn is the karm karak. It is also said to be the justice karak also, wherein it dispenses with what is right and what is not. So, when Saturn decides to give a person what is due, when a person follows the right act, then the, this Saturn will be working beautifully in a person's chart. These people, such people as we can see from uh, Lord Krishna's chart, they are very unbiased. They are unbiased. They do not take sides until and unless it's the side of the right. And they will always speak the right, take up the side of the right. The very famous shloka of Gita, Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya, Glanir Bhavati Bharata, Abhyuthanam Adharmasya, Tadatmanam Srijamyaham. Paritranaya sadhu nama vinashaya chadushkritam. That is, time and time again, I'll come to save people and to set things right. To be, to set things every, when there is a lot of adharm or not, things not going the right way, setting in, then I'll take birth and I will make sure that things are set right again. So, this implies that people who have their Saturn in their 7th house have actually a very strong Saturn or Saturn in the ninth house. Again, when Saturn is placed in the ninth house, it you have to unlock your uh, luck with doing the right things. Even in case of Lord Krishna, he, he was at a very young, he was just born when he was left in Gokul in the house of the Yadavs when he was born as a prince. And from there on, the journey was never easy for him. It was a tiresome journey, tedious journey. And such people will, with planet, with Saturn in the seventh house or the ninth house, will have to work hard to unlock their luck. But again, once it's unlocked, it's again a beautiful journey. It's a very well established fact that such people get a lot of name and fame. But that will be later on in their life. Last but not the least, when Saturn is in the ninth house, it's the natural zodiac's tenth lord. It has the propensity to bring you a lot of luck. Again, as I said, work really hard, slog really hard and see the results after a period of time. They will be phenomenal for you. Results that others could not even have imagined. Do look into your charts. But before we go, I'd also like to talk about this chart that I have with Saturn placed in the Lagna and Saturn aspecting the third house. Such a person is very adventurous. Such a person wants to unlock, to go into new areas and ideas, but at the same time has the power to sustain and has the power to think of a distance. Again, Saturn travels a long distance. So these people know how to think in terms of long distances, how it will project over a period of time. And they are the people who will always speak things unfrilled and very much in the face and stick by their convictions. So, till we get back with you again, stay safe. Thank you. Please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel.